into the yard, beast from the east, and you're watching Lights Out. This is Lights Out, I'm Vassal Khan, I'm joined by the wife of Tyson Fury, Paris Fury. Paris, how are you doing today? Good, thank you. Busy day, long day. Yeah, busy day, long day. It seems like a long time ago since Tyson was in one of these press conferences, the last time he was in a world title press conference is with uh, Vladimir Klitschko in 2015. He's back here with Deontay Wilder. As his wife, how excited are you to see him challenge for the world title? I knew he'd be back here again, so it's very exciting because it's just been a long time in the waiting. Obviously, mm -hmm. I've waited two years for him to sort of like spin himself around and feel better in himself and get back in the ring because I knew he would. And I knew he missed the sport and how much he wanted to get back to it, but just other things kept getting in the way. What's different about this Tyson than the one that you was living with a couple of years ago after winning the world title? Obviously, we know what happened, the trials, tribulations, yep. losing his license. What's different about Tyson now? He's come back stronger. What doesn't break you makes you stronger and he's definitely come back a stronger person and he knows that nothing can defeat him now. So he's a confident, stronger, more determined to prove everyone wrong. Mm. And he's just a better person than himself. How confident are you you'll see Tyson bring home that WBC belt back to England? 100% confident. Tyson's going to win anything he ever does. Anything he ever does and there's no one in this world and nothing that can beat him. Mm. I mean, are you aware, aware of Deontay Wilder, what threat he opposes to any fighter he gets in the ring with? Of course, yeah, he's definitely a big threat, he's a uh, good boxer, he does what he does, but just for deep down I know that no one else can beat Tyson. Are you, do you think this is Tyson's biggest challenge in his career so far? Uh, I wouldn't say the biggest, uh, I think his biggest challenge was getting over everything that he went through. Yeah. So I think his depression, his upsetments, his trials, like you say, and tribulations now, I think that was his biggest uh, challenge. Yeah. I spoke to Frank Warren last week at the Frampton Warrington press conference and he claims that the winner of this fight has to fight Anthony Joshua. But Barry Hearn says that the fight wouldn't be a 50-50 split. Would you agree with that or do you think Tyson Fury is as big a name as Anthony Joshua? Listen, I think you, they've decided they don't want to talk about other people so mm. let everyone do and run their own path isn't it in life. Yeah. Paris, just tell me how difficult was it these last few years, you know, getting Tyson back to the man that, you know, obviously you married, you fell in love with, and how happy are you now that he's back in the ring and doing what he does best? Over the moon for him, because yeah, it's a difficult time. Anyone who's lived with someone who's had depression, if we're really going to open it up as that way, is, it's very hard, it's very difficult, and there's times when you yourself want to bail and think, you know what, this is just too much of a sinking ship, but he's, uh, he's a strong person, and the two of us have been together for a long time, and I knew that he'd come back. Mm. And he's back. Would the icing on the cake be Tyson Fury singing you another song winning the world title again like he did in Nusseldorf? No, no, no. Tyson isn't the best singer to start with. And he lost his voice about a year ago. <laughs> so, uh, no, he definitely doesn't.